Hi, this is Rick, Vintage Oddball Cards. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Uh, haven't made a video in a few uh, few weeks. Been kind of organizing my collection. Not very. I'm not a very organized person. My wife can tell you that. She's the type A person in the family. But I came up with the idea of why don't I show you some of my non baseball card pickups in 2021 i enjoy collecting rookie cards uh, football and basketball rookie cards uh, trying to diversify you know my collection but before i do that uh, i'm going to show you i started this my last video kind of the photo of the day or the photo of the video and the photo is going to be of the great Mickey Mantle and Joe DiMaggio. This is a 1958 photo. Uh, Joe DiMaggio recently retired. Not sure how many photos are out there with both of them in the uniform together here. You kind of see uh, that the photographer is kind of looking up uh, like kind of like they're bigger than life taking the picture from the ground up here and the photographer is uh, is Don Wingfield which is a very uh, famous sports photographer so a really cool photo of the two Yankee greats here now to the cards uh, why don't we start with uh, the 2017 Patrick Mahomes in his college uniform. Now this particular card, I, I looked uh, on the PSA report, there's 1,200 of these cards graded and 900 of them have received the grade 10. 900 of the 1,200 have received 10. So obviously uh, it's not very difficult to receive a 10 in this hit card here, but uh, this is my only uh, uh, Mahomes card in my collection, I believe. Uh, so I had to pick something up. Uh, didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So uh, Patrick Mahomes. Next here, I have a 2000 Press Pass Tom Brady. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, a rookie year card, right? He's in his... Uh, his Michigan uniform. Now, Press Pass, uh, for you older collectors, they were around from 1992 to 2015. I kind of enjoy uh, their cards. Uh, they're kind of known for racing cards. Actually, they were the first company to uh, come up with uh, game use cards. In uh, 1996, they would put tire piece of a tire or sheet metal into their racing products but they did shut down operations in 2015 but uh, here's the Tom Brady this is the gold zone which is a little more scarce than the regular one uh, but I think the prices are very similar so Tom Brady now, uh, my first uh, Peyton Manning rookie card, 1998 Upper Deck. And this is an older slab, as you can see, and it kind of enjoy when they put the rookie up there, the old school rookie label there uh, uh, of the great uh, Peyton Manning. Now, one of the top five receivers of all time, of course, the GOAT is my Jerry Rice, but uh, Randy Moss. Here, I always enjoy picking up Bowman cards. Uh, so Bowman rookie card of Randy Moss. Another Randy Moss, beautiful card here. Bowman's best in a 9.5. Now how about a Topps Tiffany Junior Seau? Now as many of you know, most of you know, uh, Tiffany cards have the glossy finish to them the pop report on this is only like 174 cards which is pretty low for a junior say out card he has five rookie cards um and 
basically they're all uh you know they're all low in rookie cards uh, mass produced rookie cards but um, like i said only 174 of these tops tiffany's have been graded this guy was sideline to sideline one of the original fast linebackers in the league just a great died way way too young another guy died way too young Derek thomas i mean this guy speed off the edge might have been the fastest uh defensive end of all time um, just would wreck havoc just a great great player and uh glad to add this one to my collection now this one here the 1971 rookie card of terry bradshaw and what's interesting about this i showed you the uh the mahomes where 900 of the cards were graded a 10. this one here very tough to get tens of the 59,000 uh 71 tops football cards only 81 can have come back as tens only 81 because of the you know the red borders here the the afl for this uh set would be in red the nfc would be uh in blue so uh terry bradshaw a young looking terry bradshaw what's interesting about terry bradshaw too he's one of the last hall of fame quarterbacks to play in the uh the time where basically you threw as many interceptions as touchdowns he ended up his career 212 touchdowns 210 interceptions uh he had a passer uh completion rate of only 51 percent and i'm old enough to remember seeing him play he was kind of a gunslinger uh type quarterback uh, but he had great talent around him that uh, obviously made him uh, who he is terry bradshaw so kind of cool has the old rookie up there again now these two um really happy to pick up uh, the 66 philadelphia rookie card gail sayers and also the rookie card of uh brian piccolo and in 1970 brian piccolo passed away of cancer actually as a little kid i think i was probably when the there was a movie brian's song it was based on their relationship gail sanders gail sayers and brian piccolo their relationship and uh Piccolo was the fullback. Gail Sayers was the star running back. And they roomed together. And uh, Brian Piccolo ended up passing away in 1970 at age 26 of cancer. And in 1971, there was a movie, Brian's Song. And actually, it was the first time, actually, I heard the words cancer and what cancer was. I remember asking my mom, what is cancer why did he pass away from cancer so very sad sad it was a great movie but just a just very very sad maybe the first time i ever cried watching a movie but uh, brian, um, brian piccolo and uh, the great gail sayers rookie cards now i got these uh let's see here i got these four cards uh, from one dealer had a great deal on them uh, the 2003 bazooka rookie of uh, LeBron James uh, one of the oddball cards here uh, enjoy these types of cards the bazooka cards also uh, received a uh, the tops MVP I'm, I'm sorry the uh, upper deck MVP rookie card. Now these are low end rookie cards of uh, a LeBron James. Uh, Beckett has, I believe they've mentioned that there's 62 rookie cards of LeBron James, and they rate this one I think number 46 of the 62. And another one I have here 
is the same one here in the uh, PSA holder. And my favorite one, I really like this one. It's the 2003, and they rated this one. I ranked this one number 42 of his rookie cards. This one here is not like it's short printed, but uh, rookie cards were one and three in a pack. For every three packs, you would receive one rookie card, not necessarily uh, LeBron James. So kind of a moderately uh, short printed. Uh, I really, for a low end card, this is a, just a fantastic card. Glad I picked this one up. Of course, you can't go wrong with the 84 John Elway. How about the Marcus Allen, 83 rookie Marcus Allen? This one here, uh, I think I got for like 60 bucks or something like that. And I think it was going for like a PSA. This is in a nine. A PSA nine was going for like $90. So I'm going to pick up an SGC nine of Marcus uh, every time. If I can save 30 bucks on the card. And this one... Uh, the two key cards in the set is the Marcus Allen and the uh, and the linebacker uh, Mike, Mike Singletary would be the uh, the other key card in the set. And then the finish out with a couple of my fa my favorite player, and I have man, I probably have five of his rookie cards, and it's one of those. I don't know. You see a card and you go, God, that's a great deal. And I love this card, so I picked up a couple more. And that's uh, my goat, Joe Montana. And this is in a uh, in a Beckett 8, a beautiful 8. And I'm thinking about, at one time, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this or not, but I, is to take this out of the holder, send it to PSA or SGC, see if I can get even a 9. It's borderline borderline off center and I'm not sure if it will get a nine but it's, it's just a fan I mean as many of you know uh, Beckett BGS BVG are tough on centering this is just a beautiful beautiful car just borderline I think it might end up getting a nine but mm, yeah I don't know how how uh if I'm going to do it or not but uh Joe Montana one of the you know, his cards are still decently priced. Uh, the, it has to be one of the, what, five, six, seven top football card, vintage type football cards of all time to pick up. And also I have a, a PSA 8 Montana, beautiful card here of uh, Joe Montana. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those players again. Uh, if I see a good deal on it, you can't have enough Joe Montana cards. So those are my some of my, uh, or most of my non-baseball card pickups. Hope you enjoyed the video. What's, uh, what's kind of the couple of those uh, cards that it, you would like to add to your collection? Um, like I said, I'm just trying to diversify, enjoy rookie cards. Huge fan of football and basketball. Uh, and of course... Uh, you know, I love my baseball. So, uh, hey, thanks again for watching. This is Rick, Vintage Oddball Cards. Bye.